What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we are continuing with the RP series and this episode will make that we can equip our armor when we pick up the item and select it in our inventory. It's gonna be a very easy bit to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to learn how to make an FPS shooter in Unreal Engine 5 with all the mechanics you need in only one week. And if you use the coupon code GORKA GAMES in all caps, you get 20% off. So check it out through the link in the description. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is add the armor in our data table. So let's go into our equipment system folder and we can see our DB weapons where we have all of our items. And of course, really there's more than weapons. So technically this could be called, you know, just DB items, which might be a bit more appropriate, but it's okay. And um, what we have to do here is just add our new armor, which I'm gonna be calling this the bronze armor. And this is the one that we added in the uh, last episode. Uh, now, one thing that we have to have in mind is that we're going to have spaces, so we have to put an underscore. So it'll be uh, bronze underscore armor, okay? As we saw from the last episode, uh, we put it all of the pieces into the skeleton and then to the character blueprint, which looks pretty cool. So this will be our bronze armor for now. So if we select the bronze armor, I'm going to put the name once again. So bronze armor. Then we will need to, uh, you know, it's for the damage to be zero, the required level for now, we'll leave it at zero. And then we will need to put an icon. In my case, I still don't have an icon, but you know, we can put whatever it will represent kind of, you know, some armor for now. For example, I don't know, let's say this specific icon, let's see. So yeah, I mean, of course, we'll import one, but for now, let's just put this, which is like a skeleton, <laughs> okay? And then for the static mesh, um, I'm gonna put a one that will symbolize the default, which will be the helmet, okay? So this will symbolize kind of the whole armor and will be the one that will be able to pick up. The type, of course, will be armor, and then the weapon socket, well, for now, we will need to leave this at zero because, well, um, the armor pieces are a lot and they'll have their own socket, so we will not be attaching to this method. Okay, so now we can just save, close, and now what we need to do is go into our UI and open up WB Equipment. And if we go in here, we have our inventory, we can go into the graph, and you can see that we have our selection uh, assign item slot uh, system. So when we click the button to, you know, select into one of those slots, um, we are basically accessing the numerator and seeing which category it's on. And from there, we are equipping a melee item, uh, the bow, a shield, or the armor, which right now we just have a string saying armor not available yet, but now it is available. So we have to go ahead and use it. So let's go ahead and create this custom event in our player because it is being called from our third person character. So let's go into our third person blueprints, third person character. And now what we need to do is find this parts over here, which we can see this is here. So we have the equip melee item event, equip shield, equip bow. So now the only thing that we're going to do is right click and create a new custom event, the same, but for our armor. So we equip armor. And once again, it will contain a new input, which will be the item, which will be the S slots. There we go. And now we will basically use, you know, compile, go back to our widget and delete the string. And now, yes, we can put our equip bow from the third person. So equip bow, no, equip armor. Uh, so it will be equip armor. There we go. And now you just plug it in into armor. And now the item is collected from here and pass it. There we go. Compile, say we can close the uh, widget. We can all go back into the third person. And now we just need to get the item, break it. And now we just need to split this. We have the data table and the row name. So now can you say, um, get data table row name, row. And now can you just pass the name. And this will basically give me all of the break slots. Uh, sorry, slots now. Control Z, break as weapons. There we go. Now we have all the information as we already do. So we're accessing that item properties. And in this case, we are going to be checking if the name is 
well, contains, okay? So if the name contains, I'm gonna put bronze, okay? In that case, we want to equip our bronze armor, which is the one that we already have. So right now, by default, we have all this armor. So let's select it. So all of the pieces that contains in the name armor, back bow, back shield, not. Then once again, armor, go ahead and just collect everything. And you can see that we have the armor selected. Make sure only armor is selected. I'm gonna go ahead and just set the visibility to be false because we don't want to see it uh, when we play the game unless we have it equipped. And then another thing is we are going to be adding a tag because instead of just manually going ahead and dragging by one by one and setting the visibility to be true or false, we can just add a tag into all of these components and just do all the tags that, uh, all the components that have this tag, we will need to enable them or disable. So let's just go ahead and just put here bronze armor, okay? Which will just be like this. Now we can go back into our event graph and you say, get components a tag and now we can leave the component class use uh, as static mesh or or actor component yeah actually it will need to be actual component and the tag will be bronze armor and it has to be exactly the same spelled okay very important now with that we just want to make a for each loop so we need to go through all of them and just set the visibility now of course uh, this is an actor class component, not a uh, you know static mesh component. If I select here to be a static mesh component, now I can just delete this, do a for each loop, and now yes, set the visibility, which is what I want. Uh, great. So in that said, I can just put this here, and this will basically be true. So if I now compile, save, go back, and then just go. Just get one of my items and just duplicate it. So now we have another item here and then change it to be the bronze armor. You can see that we have our little head there. <laughs> so now I just press play and go pick it up. Now I have it in my inventory. I can equip it and you can see that I have all of my armor enabled and we can preview it and it looks absolutely amazing. So that's it with this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. Remember that the private files will be available in my Patreon and YouTube, YouTube members. So check them out. Join my Discord server. Follow me on my socials. And now, yes, who I said bye bye.